The Holy Grail of EV technology is solid-state batteries, and Toyota appears to have made a significant advancement that will enable the use of the technology. Toyota has adopted electrification very slowly. When former CEO Okio Toyoda was still in charge, his cautious approach to the acceptance of electric vehicles EVs was largely motivated by a famous quote he made. Carbon is the enemy, not the internal combustion engine. He oversaw a group of engineers who created the hydrogen combustion engine, as well as other popular hybrid vehicles and other technologies for reducing emissions. Electrification will, however, get a lot of attention under its new CEO Koji Soto. Although they have been working on solid-state batteries for several years, the technology has only just recently made a breakthrough. If this is accurate, then the company that had previously lagged behind in the adoption of electric vehicles will now be at the forefront of electrification. What can we expect from Toyota's solid-state battery? By 2027, Toyota has already committed to using solid-state batteries in all of its mass-produced electric vehicles. The Japanese automaker must, however, be able to lower production costs if it is to achieve that goal and make it appealing to customers. Fortunately, that's what the company has asserted. Toyota claims to have made it easier to produce the materials needed for solid-state batteries, which has allowed for the achievement of the breakthrough. The Japanese automaker hails the discovery as a significant advancement that enables faster charging times and a longer driving range. According to Kiji Kaita, head of the Japanese Automaker's Research and Development Center for Carbon Neutrality, we are aiming to drastically change the situation where current batteries are too big, heavy, and expensive. In terms of potential, we will try to cut all of these factors in half. But there is one reason we shouldn't get to giddy just yet. Keep in mind that the battery is still in the prototype stage and that challenges must be overcome before the production of batteries can be scaled up. At the prototype stage, innovations are frequently made, but scaling them up is challenging, according to University of Birmingham Business Economics Professor David Bailey. If it is a genuine breakthrough, it could be a game changer, very much the holy grail of battery vehicles. Kaita said in an interview with the Financial Times that Toyota isn't good at marketing its technology until the car is actually released, but that the company had already made early strides in solid-state battery durability problems three years earlier. We are not very good at marketing ourselves, and because we are overly cautious, people only find out that we were working on certain technology after the product is released. Toyota has already made significant advancements with a solid-state battery, which may surprise some people. The Japanese automaker actually holds more than a thousand patents related to solid-state batteries. Toyota intends to first use solid-state batteries in its hybrid vehicles before using them fully in its electric vehicles. The solid-state battery they developed, according to Kaita, will increase the device's range to 745 miles. The battery can be fully charged in just 10 minutes despite the long range, which is even long by internal combustion engine ICE standards. Toyota claims that they were able to reduce the size, weight, and price of the solid-state battery in half in order to achieve this long range and quick charge times. But like its usual course, Toyota isn't relying solely on solid-state batteries to achieve carbon neutrality. Instead, Toyota asserts that there is still a ton of room for advancements in the field of liquid-based lithium-ion batteries. Hiroki Nokojima, chief technology officer at Toyota, told the Financial Times, we actually don't view solid-state batteries as the ultimate solution. It would be a game-changer for the automotive industry as a whole if Toyota is able to meet its internal deadline of starting mass production of these batteries in 2027. The Japanese automaker will gain an advantage in the development of EVs as a result. But Toyota isn't the only one advancing, their competitors are also part of the race for solid-state batteries. Solid-state batteries aren't just being developed by Toyota. Since solid-state batteries are the pinnacle of battery technology, 
every automaker committed to EVs has been vying to be the first to market a variety of new EVs with these batteries. Now the question is, why are people so attracted to technological advances? The most costly and heaviest part of an electric vehicle is its battery, as it adds significantly to the weight of the vehicle. Either increase the efficiency of the electric motors or increase the size of the batteries if you want an EV with a longer range. Even though automakers have been attempting to strike a balance between efficiency and range, the batteries still occupy more space than a typical fuel tank. The liquid electrolyte component of lithium-ion batteries is one factor that contributes to their current spatial configuration. Although lithium-ion batteries' energy density has increased over time, they still don't have enough energy to meet the demands and goals of the auto industry. Lithium-ion batteries are also riskier than solid-state batteries because they have a liquid electrolyte. Those Tesla fire incidents remember them. According to a report, there is still room for battery safety improvement, particularly when it comes to crash and battery puncture safety, even though the chances of a fire in an EV are much lower especially since there is no combustion process in an EV versus an ICE. In contrast, solid-state batteries are much safer because there is no liquid electrolyte present, making them even less likely to catch fire than an electric vehicle EV using lithium-ion batteries. According to the report, the likelihood of a fire in an EV is actually only 25 per 100,000 cars, while gas vehicles are the second most likely and hybrids are the most vulnerable. Of course, solid-state batteries are not without downsides. Although solid-state batteries have drawbacks of their own, the majority of them are primarily the result of the technology's relative youth. Less material is eventually recovered from solid-state batteries because they are more difficult to recycle. Dendrite formation, however, is another issue with solid-state batteries that hardly anyone is discussing. So what's the deal with solid-state batteries and dendrites? Dendrite formation does occur in lithium-ion batteries, though it does so much more slowly than it does in solid-state batteries. Dendrite formation, in accordance with E power, occurs when the lithium metal electrochemically grows erratically on negative electrodes during charging. The electrolyte is then decomposed by the reaction between the dendrites and the electrolyte, gradually shortening the battery's lifespan and capacity to store energy. Honda, though, might have a fix for this. The material's high cost and difficulty in obtaining and manufacturing is the final drawback, but these are only temporary problems that should be resolved as technology advances. Solid-state batteries currently have far more advantages than disadvantages. The advancement of solid-state batteries gives an exciting look at the future. The road to a no-compromise EV future is now closer than ever thanks to various research being conducted and various breakthroughs happening one after another. Toyota's news about its breakthrough in solid-state batteries further solidifies that vision, assuming, of course, that the company's claims are accurate. However, Toyota has a history of not debuting a technology until it is at the very least present in a prototype vehicle. And with the tense two days episode. Was your interest piqued? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.